Welcome to day 12 on my family's trip to Jamaica. We rallied the troops early and bright because we were taking a two and a half hour drive to the parish of Portland. If y'all know where that it be, just know Ifa. But the 12 of us packed up in the van and were ready for the day's adventures. Everybody please look to your left and realize that the tree in the pothole grew. The drive to Portland is absolutely gorgeous. But I wasn't able to capture any of it because I get nauseous when I use my phone in these long drives. We all arrived in one piece though and this is the crew. Don't we look cute? Y'all say cheese. Oh, all right. Oh, or not. Nobody made it about it, me man. So our first stop was to a beach called Frenchman's Cove that you had to pay for. It was on a hotel property. But paying for a beach is still a hard concept for me to swallow, man. But one unique thing about this place is that this is where a stream slash river exits into the water. So you get the best of both worlds, beach and river. It's definitely a tourist setup, but still chill. And you can order food and drink right there on the beach. Which is were quoted in US dollars. Our EC wallets wept. After putting in our orders, though, we joined our cousins who were already on the beach taking pictures by the swing. You're all this place is majestic and truly out of a picture book but they were definitely instagram versus reality moments go yes and take your good up pictures but please the water is cold and them swings are deceiving i think it's easy to climb up but it's not but overall i love the adventure aspect of it and i like that it's like a little playground in the water my mother in her natural habitat somebody say power now if you're going don't waste your time and order nothing else but the fish look how we big my sister and i went for a swim and the water is like cold at the top and warm at the bottom because of the river and the sea all in all though the beach is beautiful and my sister said this was actually an off day it's not normally this rough After we ate and got a group picture we were like bar beach time to go bamboo river rafting now apparently there's a whole office where you have to go and pay tickets and so we didn't realize so we just rock up and the man and them were like yes come come also when we first got there they said the river rafting is two and a half hours me say what wow we could do Pana river sit down for two and a half hours but you're all it is so worth it again i'm gonna make another video that goes into full detail but you're all this is such a peaceful experience you can get drinks if you asked we got to stay at the raft we got to swim and it was really just a time to enjoy all that nature had to offer and this was the perfect example of it in jamaica a special thank you to kevin who took excellent care of us this is me trying to sail the raft but at the end i was like whoa 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 your boat gently down the street now after i got my arm workout and the bamboo raft tour ended taxi driver was there to meet us at the end of the river and we started the drive back nighttime met us on the road and that coupled with the whiny drive some of us did not fare well but we all made it in one piece again back in kingston we just chilled for the rest of the night and decided to prep for the following day so be sure to like and share this video stay tuned for the next family Jamaican event. Can somebody say Duns River Falls?